Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make your icons in the toolbar larger. You see these icons over here on the left? They're very, very small by default and they can be made larger. Why would you do that? Well, a few good reasons really. One, maybe your eyesight's going, maybe you're a little older and you know, you want a bigger icon because your eyes aren't working the way they are, or in my case, yeah, I have a tablet, a pen tablet, and clicking on them can be quite difficult when you're really in close with the tablet. So let's just show you how to do it. Here you go. All you got to do is go up to your top here. I'm going to go to Photoshop and Preferences. This is if you, how you do it on a Mac. If you're on a PC, right now I believe it's under File, and you go down to Preferences. But I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac. Works the same way. Go to File, and then you're going to want to go to Interface. All right, here we go. And under Interface, you're going to see, here we go, File, Preferences, Interface. UI font size small, change that to large, also change scale UI to font. So we're scaling the user interface to the font size. So the font sizes are going to be larger. Left click on OK. You see nothing. Nothing has happened. Do not panic. We're going to go ahead and close Photoshop because you have to close it in order to see the results. So I'm going to go up to Photoshop, quit Photoshop, and after that I'm going to reload it and show you the final result. Alrighty, let's just keep on rolling. I'm going to go to the Finder, Applications, go back up to Photoshop 2022, double click on it. There we go. Now, when we load it, you're going to see quite a significant difference. Do, 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 come on, computer. Here we go. Alright, we're just going to click on New File. You still won't see it. I'm just going to create a pixel grid. And now, when I left click on Create, much bigger. It's not a huge difference, but it is a significant difference, and this is very, very useful. Like I said, for people with, you know, not so great eyesight, or if you're using a tablet and you have to do very, very precise motions and you don't want to keep using hotkeys. This is how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.